So it's said that night vision is the only superpower that you can actually buy. I disagree with that. I think thermal is as well, and we're gonna get into that with this thermal scope from Armasite. It is the Contractor 640. This thing's badass. Let's get into it. So if you disagree that thermal is a superpower that you can buy, at least it brings you up to the level or better than the Predator. I think we can all agree on that. So for full transparency, Armasite did send me this scope. Uh, it is on loan though, I don't get to keep it, so I'll be sending this back shortly. It's been phenomenal though, I really, really like the scope. There are too many specs to get into for one video. There's so much going on here. I'm going to list everything down below and of course find a way and uh, uh, provide a way for you to read about it yourself. Um, but this thing is loaded. I am gonna go through some of the stuff throughout the video, but this is the point at which I normally go through like all the specifications of a scope, but this thing is so loaded, I just can't justify the runtime. Real quick, let's talk about thermal. Why thermal? Maybe thermal over night vision or vice versa. Now, Armasite sells both night vision and thermal. Um, but what is a benefit to thermal over intensifier tube type night vision? Uh, the biggest of it being that this can be used during the day and in bright light, whereas night vision, you tend to ruin night vision by doing something like that. Um, so if there is something, say, on a hillside or out in a field that is somewhat camouflaged, hard for you to see, um, you can make out heat signatures with thermal, and that's exactly what thermal does. It tells you the different heat signatures of what you are looking at from cold to hot, different varying uh, color schemes to do so. Uh, if you've never used thermal before, it is a whole different way of looking at the world. Unless you've seen Predator, then of course you know what thermal looks like. So the first thing I wanna get into is the mounting solution. There's, you're going to find a common theme throughout this scope, and that is usability of the scope. Armasite left no stone unturned as far as making this scope very intuitive and very easy to use, and that includes the mounting solution. Now, as you can see here, this has sort of a cantilever mount built into it, and it mounts very differently than what you're probably used to. Push this, and it just releases. And what we have here is this cantilever mount has two recoil lugs in the bottom of it that line up with pick and tanning rail and clamping surfaces. And this guy here, this push button here. So it locks into place like that. All you do is find the spot on your rail that you want to put it and it locks on. It's that simple. And it's a very solid mounting platform. I have not had it come loose or lose zero or anything like that with that mounting solution. Again, you just push it, pull it off, make sure it's locked back, find a place for it, and it's on. Beautiful, really intuitive, very easy to use. Now, speaking of mounts, it also has a piece of pick rail right here on the side. So if you wanted to use something like an offset red dot uh, on the side here for zero magnification, something that you don't have to look through the uh, thermal for, then that is right there. You can just turn it, have your offset red dot, pistol red dot, whatever kind of red dot you want on there and use that as well. Now, when it comes to the switches, again, uh, Armasite has made this very intuitive to use. Uh, there's four main pieces here along with the record switch. Uh, this being the battery compartment on the other side here being the USB port right there so you can hook it to your computer because this does take images and video. Um, everything is O-ring sealed. Everything is tethered on with cables including your lens cover. And then you have these three switches right here, which is on off, and then various menu stuff as well as changing the color. And then the one over here is other various menu items as well as zoom. Now to use this bad boy, it is as simple as push and turn. That's all this was. 
was to push that down and just flip it over to on. It is very clearly marked and it has already warmed up. Let me focus in here on what I'm looking at real quick. And we are on. Now, if you can operate a cell phone, a, a modern smartphone, or program a TV, you can use this. It's very intuitive to use. Um, one of the things I like about this scope versus other digital optics that I've had is that a lot of those digital optics, whether they're handheld or rifle mounted, is that there's always like little push buttons, little soft touch push buttons, which is nice, nice for it being low profile. But if you want to keep your eye on the objective and you start fiddling around, you're like, okay, there's the center button and they're okay so that's the up or that's the over and then you end up pushing an area that doesn't even do anything um, all of that sort of fiddling around is gone with this there's again three four very defined places on this battery usb your adjustment knobs and your on off so once it's on if i want to change color all i do is twist i can roll right through the colors just by twisting. Uh, so one of the first gross motor movements, which is just twisting this, uh, is one of the most important or probably one of the go-to operations that you would most commonly use, and that is changing the color. And then the second one being changing the zoom. So there are two most common uses, or two most common controls that you would be using are the two immediate things you can do now beyond that the there's a left menu and a right menu and you'll see some of this in overlay and, and b-roll over top of this video very simple press and hold for a second and you go through enhancements about settings compass preview for video or picture you've taken bore sight and press to go off press to go on menu presets, uh, reticle type, uh, color of the reticle, brightness settings, and rangefinder, press and hold off. Very easy, again, very sort of intuitive to just go through, roll right through it, press and hold, roll till you wanna find something. For instance, if I want to go to the type of reticle that I'm going to, or, or want to change, just hit that, hit the button again, and then I can roll through the different reticle options being i think there's six or seven of them there's a chevron a crosshair with hash marks a dot a dot with a line a segmented line a dot with three segmented lines four segmented lines solid crosshair and nothing so you can use this as just a thermal fight range finder or thermal scope without a reticle at all um, very easy, then click and hold, and you're right to where you want to be. Super intuitive to use. Now it has rainbow, target, forest, uh, or sorry, sepia, white hot, black hot, back to rainbow. Rainbow being the very full color one, uh, target having mostly black and gray with orange and yellow, and then the uh, sepia, white hot which is sort of like sepia just a different color and black hot um, and you just leave it there you leave it there to where you want to have it now this is really easy to use with either hand you can go to each side like so and the record button is just off of this menu button on this side you just push it it starts recording and push it again it stops recording very very simple again uh, they've made this super intuitive to use from the mount all the way to the switches and when you're done Off There's no question about it. You don't push and hold and look through it and then push and hold Oh, did the light turn off? It just it's off now what I have here and I'm gonna record this for you and overlay it while I'm talking uh, So hit record. I have the red reticle with the Chevron on and so at about 30 yards between 20 and 30 yards, I have a steel target set up that is in focus, and it's very easy for me to switch over to something that's farther away, and it's just a very smooth roll of the focus lever, of the focus knob, to be able to 
focus one thing and then the other. You don't have to do a whole lot of fumbling around. The focus is not a digital button that you have to touch. It's just a focus ring like you're used to using on like a range finder or something. And again, that is right here. Very, very smooth, very easy to turn, has some nice rubber knurling on it. And then the diopter back here, once you set the diopter for you, I've never had to touch it again. And then I just use, I just use the focus knob or the focus ring at that point. So I've shot this with 308 and 556 only. Um, doesn't seem to be recoil sensitive to at least those two. I've not lost zero. Again, that mount is very, very sturdy. Um, for being such a, I'm not gonna call it a simple design because it's something I would have never thought of, but something that just clip and clips on. Um, I'm gonna admit I had my reservations about that and uh, it's proved to be quite the sturdy mount. Uh, so between 308 and 556, no recoil sensitivity issues, no losing zero. Um, this does have a bore sight on it. So with the bore sight, um, it works just like anything else, any other turret design of your regular scopes, except for it's just digital. So the reticle will move up, down, left, right, depending on how you set it. So it does have a range finding feature, which uh, works in, uh, in the way that you need to know approximately the size of something you're looking at. So if you're ranging a human, you can assume they're five, nine to six foot. Uh, you set the two upper and lower thresholds to that, and it'll tell you the distance that they are away. Now, one of the things that sets this apart from a lot of other thermals that I've used is that the definition in this and clarity of definition in this is outstanding. A lot of thermal stuff I've used, uh, handheld stuff, has clarity, definition, contrast issues. Um, when you see a person, they just sort of look like a person shape, if that makes sense. This actually gives quite a lot of definition and it's sensitive enough to where even when you're shooting a target, um, the quick heat signature of the bullet passing through or hitting the target registers on here. You can actually see that out to even 80 or 90 yards away, what I've done. So as far as distance goes, um, there's actually a mountain to my right here. I want to put an overlay of uh, Google Maps to show you how far away it is. I was able to pick that up uh, pretty clearly with this, and that's quite a distance away. I've picked up the heat signature of commercial airliners going over top of this area. Um, and I've even seen, and I don't know how accurate this is, but I thought it was cool, the warmer side of the moon during the day when the when the moon is still up in uh, in the late morning I have even seen the warmer side of the moon with this how accurate is that I don't know but it's pretty freaking cool to see it so wildlife there's not a whole lot of wildlife in the area I'm in uh, because it is a shooting area and just wildlife tends to stay away it did pick up some birds that were walking across the ground the other day uh, picked up those just fine very detailed like you could even see where their eyes were and things like that uh, so very detailed on those birds I've gotten into camera view before or 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 scope view before uh, again picked up a lot of detail there and even the little details on rocks in the distance at several hundred yards up to peaks of the mountains and stuff like that that I've been near, uh, even details in the rocks there. So I think that this thing has, again, uh, great picture quality compared to a lot of other thermals out there. So the magnification range of this is three to 12 by 50. Um, and mind you, this is digital magnification. So digital magnification uh, basically is just like if you're on your phone and you zoom in your picture and you zoom it in far enough that it becomes pixelated, that can happen with this if what you're trying to zoom into is too close. Uh, however, if it's farther away where something like 12 power is more appropriate, um, you're still going to get a clear picture. But understand this is digital zoom, not optical zoom, not zoom like you would on an LPVO or standard uh, scope. Now, Arbisite also has an app uh, that you can Bluetooth this to, and it'll tell you a bunch of the same information like longitude, latitude, maps, um, and all the various information that your scope is taking in and where your scope is located at 
on a GPS scale. Um, so that's pretty cool as well. Now with all of this stuff, we're gonna talk about price. If everything this comes with it, everything you're able to do with it, and the quality of the scope itself, you are going to pay top dollar for it. And what I mean by that is it's right around $5,700. Um, I know for a lot of people that's like, ouch. But if you're into the night vision and thermal game, that's not that much. Um, that's actually a really fair price for what this is, for what you're getting and what you're capable of using it for. So I'd like to thank Armasite for sending this out to me. Uh, it's been a just a joy to use. Very impressive piece of gear. Extremely impressive piece of gear. Um, if this is something that's up your alley, like I said, I will put a way for you to find our site down below. Um, but this is very much a complete package, super intuitive to use, easy mounting, uh, the whole shebang you're getting with this guy. Thanks for watching everybody. Don't forget to hit like, share, subscribe. Hit that notification bell if you like videos like this and you want to see more videos from me. If there was any wind noise throughout all of this, I apologize. It's been one of those days. I've done what I can to keep the wind noise down. Again, thank you to Armorsite for sending that out. Thank you to you people out there that support the channel and we'll talk to you later.